Good morning. Um, so today I wanted to talk about my makeup routine. Um, I don't really have a big specific routine, but I mainly wanted to talk about this um, foundation that I currently use and I love it very, very much. So this one is the 100% Pure Fruit Pigmented Water Foundation and I have shade Olive. Hope you can see it. Um, the main reason I wanted to make this video is because uh, when I first started searching for tutorials or reviews on this product, I didn't find many. Um, either the tutorials weren't detailed enough or um, you know, the reviews weren't also satisfying to me and um, I eventually went and bought this foundation anyway because it has amazing ingredients. It's made of, you know, a lot of uh, fruit extracts, vegetable extracts, um, it has a lot of good oils and, you know, not really a lot of chemicals or preservatives, which I personally try to avoid in my products. So anyway, after I got it, I applied it, I tried it on, and I didn't really like the application of the product. My skin looked very dry, um, it looked cakey, it was like, if I had any dry flakes, they looked more obvious. So, you know, I was almost regretting buying it, and I was wondering if I should go return it. And then um, I decided to try one more thing, which is uh, try to use a beauty sponge. I have never used a beauty sponge before and I thought, okay, let me try it. And it changes the whole game. So that's what this video is about. I'm going to show you how I apply this foundation. It gives a beautiful light coverage, which I prefer. I don't want something very heavy. So I already have a beauty sponge that is slightly damp. It just helps to apply the product better because it's not um, absorbing the foundation. So yeah, let's get on with it. You have to shake it really, really well because I've noticed otherwise the formulation, the, um, you know, the colors, the pigments and all of the ingredients in it separate from the oil. And if you let it sit for some time, you know, even I guess just the next day, it might be starting to separate a little bit. And mine has been sitting for a couple of weeks because I don't really know. I will just put like one pump, half a pump like this on it, a little bit of product. I first dab it, some, oh, some, yeah, I dab some product all over my face before I will start to um, buff it in. So, like that. And yeah, I will just start to press it in. I already made one mistake. Um, so usually, um, for some reason, whenever I put any foundation on my cheek, Usually, um, sorry, not cheek, my chin. Um, it just looks cakey there, so I didn't mean to put any foundation there. What I usually do is I just put um, the leftover, after I've done my whole face, the leftover foundation on my chin. So then it's a very, very thin layer and it doesn't look cakey at all. Um, but I just put like two, three dabs there, so I don't know. <laughs> So I just like having a thin layer so it's not looking too perfect and you know still kind of natural and I think I have a full, a full layer like you can still see some of the redness I don't know if the camera is picking that up but I can still still see some of the redness I have some moles um, some scarring I also think this foundation is a little bit too light for my skin now because I've gotten very, very, very tan, but I'm not going to go buy a new shade because I just don't apply it often enough. So for now, I just buff it down to my neck and hope it's 
I don't think it's um, too obvious, but you guys can let me know. So, I know you're supposed to dab it. I'm like, I'm kind of dragging it. I know that's not how it's supposed to go, but it still looks fine, so. That's what I do. So this is what it looks like with just the foundation on. This is the application. I don't know if you guys can see, but I really, really like it. And sometimes I might just go out like this, put on some lipstick. Um, yeah, I might just go out like this. I guess that's the point of this foundation. I really like how it still kind of looks like my real skin. They also have one more formulation called Second Skin, so maybe um, that will also do this. But right now I have this, and I had told the salespeople there that I want something that is, um, you know, very natural and has a very light coverage, which is why they suggested this one to me. For now, I will just cut to the final look in this video. I realized as I was recording and, uh, sorry, editing this video, that it was going to be about 30-40 minutes long if I show you the whole routine while also talking to you. So to finish this look, I had applied some color to my cheeks, some glow, and lip product, some false lashes. So if you guys want to see the rest of the look, please go watch the second video as well. And thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, or if you want me to talk more about products and their ingredients, please let me know. Thank you. Bye.